Well, the sparks are really flying on Capitol Hill, but reports that President Obama plans to withdraw all but 3,000 U.S. troops from Iraq by the end of the year. Now, some critics fear Iraq is not ready to provide its own security. And Senator Lindsey Graham saying earlier today, I know we're broke, but the one thing I can tell you we can't afford after all the investment is to lose. What does he mean by that? Well, let's ask him. Joining us is Senator Graham of South Carolina. Good evening, sir. And, uh, Thank you for having me. Explain yourself. Um, okay. Well, uh, I asked General Odenero in Austin in June 2010, what's the state of play in Iraq? They said we were inside the 10-yard line, first down with four plays. We were about ready to score. Everybody's expected in 2012 that we would have some troops left behind to do certain things the Iraqis are not yet capable of. Some troops is what? Right. 15 to 25 is what the Pentagon's been recommending. That allows you to do intelligence gathering, which the Iraqis don't have, air sovereignty, they don't have an air force, train their navy, train their army, counterterrorism to make sure that the remnants of al-Qaeda and Iranian militia are defeated and to police the Kurd Arab border disputes up in the north. You need about 5,000 to do that alone. So somewhere north of 10,000, 3,000 troops is an absolute formula for disaster. So we would be fumbling the ball inside the 10. Not one general has ever recommended 3,000 troops. This is an example of politicians changing what the generals say in a way that makes no sense. And to lose would mean that Iran would be able to influence and destabilize Iraq. And they're trying to do that right now as I speak. All right. Um, I can't imagine a president of the United States makes that decision without calling up a general. The general. Either. Well, do you know if he, I mean, did he speak, I can to, the, tell you, did he speak to the generals I'm, I'm on the sure, ground I, in Iraq? I don't, one, I don't know if the decision's been made. Leon Panetta says it has not. You don't pick a number, you look at the missions. What do we need to do in Iraq? Right, but you usually defer to the guy on the ground well, and do, find out, use some judgment. It, exactly. Now, well, the commander in chief can overrule his generals, that's fine. But you need to be within the ballpark of what they're recommending or fire them. Is, not but, one but, general has ever recommended 3,000 troops. How do you know that the generals in Iraq aren't saying, you know, they're saying one thing to you, to you or to everybody and one thing I to the president? Because I know them. They don't lie. And, and, you, and, you, and have you spoken to I any of them? I have spoken to every recently? one of them, yes, about the number of troops. And they say, here are the missions, Senator Graham. We need to provide so air sovereignty. They don't have an air force. We need to continue to train their army and police. They're getting better, but they're not, not there yet. If we don't have at least 5,000 between the Kurds and the Arabs, that part of Iraq could go south. We need a counterterrorism presence here. We've got 20,000 civilians. We need to provide some protection to them that work for us through the State Department and other agencies, those missions necessitate, require 15 to 25. I think you could do it somewhere between 10 and 15. All right. Um, so why is he doing that? You know, I don't know. They say that the political market at home won't bear anymore. I don't believe that. I think most Americans are frustrated by the war. They're, they'd like for it to end, but they don't want to lose. And if you could show them that 10 to 15,000 troops would secure all the gains we've made, the 4,500 who've lost their lives, and the dividends of winning in Iraq are enormous. Having a stable democracy between Syria and Iran, changing the, the culture of the Mideast to replace a dictatorship, with with a representative democracy is he, enormous he, benefit to us. Here's what here's my only thought. I mean, is that if the three thousand is the wrong number, I mean, if it's grossly wrong compared it's to the numbers, wrong. okay, grossly wrong, is that are, are we leaving the three thousand there to be sort of sitting ducks? Now, I, that's I would, the first I, question. I, yes. Are they at risk? Yes, ma'am. The I would, second the yes, second issue I have is if you know if we instead of leaving the three thousand, if we pull everybody out by the end of the year, does Iran move in? Not to mention take all the oil that well, we don't. I mean, does Iran move in and does that question. change the dynamics? The They're trying to, what's Iran's worst nightmare? To have a stable democracy on their border. Their own people hate their regime. If Iraq is successful in their efforts to create a democracy, it puts enormous pressure on the Iranian theocracy. They're trying to kill our troops as I speak. They're trying to de destabilize the Iraqi efforts at democracy. And if they're successful, uh, they win, we lose. If we can continue the gains we've made, we've gone from a hundred and something thousand where we can get, get by well, next year with 10 to 15. Well, That's great what progress. What is Secretary Panetta saying? Uh, Secretary Panetta says no decision's been yet made. What you, what's he saying, though, about the 3,000? Well, he hasn't said it and commented, but I can I tell mean, you is what... He the, out, I mean, aren't his generals telling him? I mean, if I, they're telling you, aren't they I, telling I, him? I'm sure they are. And let me tell you, 
the one thing I can tell you about being commander in chief, you can overrule your generals, but you need to be accountable when you do. Remember Somalia when we didn't have enough troops? Remember Black Hawk Down? Remember Beirut when you had 240 Marines at the end of a runway? When you don't have the right force configuration and you leave people in a war zone, uh, not adequately protected, you're doing them a great disservice. 3,000 people cannot protect themselves and the civilians so we have. Sitting ducks. That, to me, they would be sitting ducks and we would be fumbling the ball on the 10 yard line. And here's the irony of all ironies. Obama would be making the same mistake at the end of Iraq that Bush made at the beginning, not having the footprint, footprint right. At the beginning of the war, we didn't have enough troops to secure the country. And wouldn't it be a tragedy after all these years and this close to the goal line yeah. to fumble the ball because you're worried about domestic politics? Most Americans have one thing they would like to see America always do, and that's win. And it's in our national security interest to make sure Iraq ends well, and we're well on our way, and 3,000 is so far away from what the generals recommend that it just really unnerves me, and I hope and pray the Obama administration will change course. Senator, thank you, sir. Thank you. Come